try to stop me Welcome back to the Team Turner YouTube channel. Today, we're working on Josh's GR Corolla again. We're gonna be installing a pitch stop mount from Delta X Motorsport. This is uh, to keep the engine from rocking back and forth uh, on acceleration while you're shifting. So what this comes with is a, a new metal engine mount bracket. So very solid piece, comes with bushings in it. Um, this one came with two different uh, levels of uh, hardness for the bushings, a 60 and an 80 um, Delrin, or poly, and also came with these nice, the packaging is fantastic, first of all, and then these are, uh, you know, the bushings that go into the mount like that. So all this stuff is really high end, really well made, and I'm going to show you how to put it together. So I'm going to go ahead and jack the car up. Uh, these cars don't have a really good front center jack point, so we're going to have to do it on the side. Um, we found these really cool uh, rubber, they're kind of like hockey pucks, but they have a real nice channel to fit on your uh, pinch weld jack point. That way um, you're not going to have that jack point get crushed and flattened out like you see on a lot of other cars. Just make sure we line it up. We are. Boom. Now it's going to protect that jack point. And we can lift it right up. So in order to remove this mount, we're going to have to take this loose where it bolts to the frame. I'm going to loosen this while it's still on the car because everything's mounted and easy. Um, and get, I can get some leverage that way. And then I've got four smaller bolts here. These are 22 millimeter. These are 14 millimeters. So to start, I'm going to go ahead and pop this one loose. It is tight. I believe the torque spec is like 148 foot pounds or something wild. I'm gonna use a breaker bar to get that started. Okay, that's loose. Same with this one. Yeah, there we go. And now pop the 14 millimeter ones loose. with the little impact. Now this bolt, I just wanted to get it loose in the car. I'm actually gonna take that out uh, once we get the mount out and switch this bracket to the new mount outside of the car on the workbench. All right, so here we have here we have that mount out of the car and on the ground. Um, this is the bushing that goes bad. I guess there's been reports of these going bad with less than 2,000 miles on the car, uh, which is pretty sad. But you know, it is what it is, I suppose. So, so as you can see, this part and this part are okay. It's down here, I believe. This is supposed to be bonded to the mount. I'm not positive, but either way. 
it's as you can see when I just pry on it just a little bit it pulls away so either way that's not holding it very tight um, so we're gonna go ahead and get this apart we're gonna swap the new uh, torque mount onto this bracket we're gonna reuse this uh, and put it back in the car So now we're going to put the new mount from Delta X Motorsport, put this here, and it installs really very simple. Get that bolt started back in. Now I'm not going to tighten that all the way down yet because I want to get it in the car and installed before we actually torque it. Um, but other than that, I've got the uh, bushings in the mount, I've got these little spacers on. Um, let's go back and put it up underneath. All right, so I put this back in the car. It's real simple. Slide this in first, kind of where it goes. And I'm gonna put one of these, one of these 14 millimeter bolts in just to kind of hold this in place. Um, let's get them in by hand. Maybe I'll do this one. There we go. That will hold the position close enough. Now I'm going to take this other bolt, line this up. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just run it in with the impact, uh, not real tight yet. Okay. So that's in. That's in. Now let's get the rest of these 14s started here. Zing these in real quick. So for bracket to transaxle, those are 32 foot-pounds. Okay. So subframe through bolt, that is 148. That's the next one. Subframe through bolt, that's the vertical one here. Yep. Crank this torque wrench all the way up. So you're 148 foot pounds for that. Yep. Okay. Last bolt, pitch mount to bracket is 125. seeing online that people were starting to have problems with their pitch mounts I was starting to notice I was having similar issues where especially on first to second it was really hard to like smoothly shift from first to second without it kind of rocking or jerking a little bit and almost to the point where I would have to like completely ease off the throttle and like really gently let the clutch out to try to get it from first to second without issues um, so Kind of suspected that I was going to have similar problems. Uh, a lot of people have had issues in like the 2,000-ish area uh, mileage-wise, and I'm like close to 6,000 now, so I figured that mount is probably more than toast. So um, 
yeah, we just kind of figured that it would be a good idea to swap them out with something more stiff so that we don't have those problems. Uh, we put the, uh, the ADA bushings in instead of the 60A, which we were going to do originally. Um, kind of figured that it would be more solid than what we were originally planning on, but that the shifts would probably feel really good. So, initial thoughts, there is a lot of vibration at idle, but I'm not really surprised, not really too concerned. 